babysitter hears a noise upstairs. Afterwards, dad checks the hidden camera and discovers a nightmare. When parents cannot look after their children themselves, they often hire someone to babysit. The babysitter is responsible for the child when the parents are at work. And sometimes they need to act like a hero. Let's take a look at the story of the babysitter who heard a noise upstairs and the child's father who discovered a nightmare afterward. Would you like to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we continue with the story? The Brave Babysitter Allison was the babysitter of five-year-old Aiden. Aiden's father hired her a few months ago and she became a live-in babysitter because Aiden's father was single and needed someone to look after his son when he was working. The incident happened on a Tuesday morning when Aiden's father was on a business trip to Minnesota. When Allison woke up early that morning, she discovered that there was a fire in the house. Aiden was asleep in his room behind a closed door, but the carpet-covered corridor leading to his room was on fire. The fire must have started around 3 a.m. after a broken fan in the bathroom upstairs had overheated and caught fire. However, Allison managed to extinguish the fire with water and immediately called Aiden's father to tell him about the incident. It was only a small fire and it no longer seemed to do any harm since the fire was already out. There was no reason to be worried and Allison went back to bed. But at 6 a.m., Allison woke up again, this time by a bang and loud noises. The noise came from the smoke detector and the bang came from the fan. The fan caught fire again and fell on the ground. This time the fire spread within seconds. Allison immediately jumped out of her bed and ran barefoot to Aiden's room. She shouted his name but he hid under his blankets and was too scared to leave his room. Allison didn't have much time. She had to go to Aiden immediately to rescue him. However, she was barefoot and the carpet was scorching hot. But she didn't think about that and ran into Aiden's room, picked him up and ran out again. It was only when she stepped on some part of the carpet that was not on fire that she became aware that her feet were hurting a lot. But she did not have time to examine her feet. She had to leave the house and call the fire brigade because the flames just got bigger and bigger. Going down the stairs, she grabbed her handbag and rushed to the car together with Aiden. She drove straight to the neighbor to ask for help because she had accidentally dropped her mobile phone when she grabbed the handbag. She stepped onto the accelerator with her toes because she had serious burns on the soles of her feet. While she was on her way to the neighbor, she told Aiden to run to the door and ring the doorbell until someone opened. Aiden was brave and did what Allison asked him to do. The fire brigade arrived quickly. Allison had sustained some severe wounds and she had to go to the hospital. Aiden's father came home later that day and when he saw Allison, he didn't know how to thank her for her bravery. What she had done for his son was more than an act of heroism. Aiden too considered Allison a hero from that day on and was forever grateful to her. Give this video a like if you also think Allison is a hero. Elizabeth the Babysitter Elizabeth worked as a babysitter for Magdalena and David. The couple had a son named Josh and he was their pride and joy. They loved him dearly and would do anything for him, but they both had full-time jobs and couldn't look after him during the day. That's why they hired Elizabeth as a babysitter. Elizabeth also loved Josh, and she knew that his well-being was valuable to his parents. Josh also loved Elizabeth. From the moment he saw her, he immediately liked her. He was always happy to see her, and he loved how she cared for him. Elizabeth enjoyed working with the family, and she took good care of Josh. Josh was always a cheerful boy, and he was the reason she really liked her job but she didn't know what was about to happen. Before I tell you what was in store for her, would you like to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell? You did it? Well, let's get on with it then. On a beautiful sunny day, Elizabeth went to her babysitting work, 
happy and cheerful. Because it was summer and the sun was shining so beautifully, she decided to take Josh outside for some fun. It was a pleasant day and the outside air felt great. Everything seemed normal on this beautiful day until they arrived back home. As soon as she opened the front door, Elizabeth realized that something was not right, but she just wasn't sure what it was. She had a strange feeling, so she decided not to let Josh in yet. But Josh thought differently and didn't notice anything strange. He happily ran inside to get his toys. She couldn't blame him. He was just a child and the house was his safe place. She begged Josh to come to her, but Josh didn't listen. He was only focused on his toys and he got all distracted. Elizabeth got worried and she couldn't get rid of the unpleasant feeling that something was wrong. As she stood there and watched Josh, she heard a noise coming from upstairs. It sounded like heavy footsteps. Who could they belong to? She knew for sure that Josh's parents weren't home yet. She panicked, but fortunately she did the right thing. She had little time to think about her next move. She rushed into the house without thinking, picked up Josh and went outside as fast as she could. She still held Josh in her arms as she climbed over the neighbor's fence. Does this sound familiar to you? When your adrenaline is so high that you are suddenly able to do the impossible. Elizabeth only thought about the safety of her and Josh. She went through the neighbor's garden to their front door and desperately started banging on the door without stopping. She begged the neighbors to open the door. When the neighbors saw her, they knew something terrible was going on and they opened the door. They let her in and she felt relieved that she and Josh were safe. But her heart kept beating very fast. She needed to know that everything was okay and then she could calm down. The police came, but when they arrived at the house, the intruder had already escaped. Who was the intruder and how did he end up inside the house? Do you have any idea? When Elizabeth had calmed down, she called David to tell him what had just happened. David didn't hesitate and came home immediately. While the officers were searching the house, no one knew who the intruder was and how he got into the house. No one knew what he had done inside the house. But that mystery didn't last long. There were security cameras on the outside of the family's house and inside were hidden cameras. The images on the cameras shocked David. The images clearly showed the intruder. He searched the whole house and left a mess behind. He had been looking for valuables and it seemed like he was in his own house. He went into all the rooms one by one and searched thoroughly. When he went into David and Magdalena's bedroom, he did a thorough search there as well. He opened all the drawers at his leisure in search of jewelry, but fortunately he didn't find much there either. The burglar was not having much luck and that annoyed him. He seemed irritated and walked back and forth. It was noticeable that he didn't want to leave empty handed and so he put a pair of clothes and shoes in a bag. He even went into Josh's room and these images gave David the creeps. With one look at Josh's room, you could see it was a children's room, so it was impossible to find anything of value there. But the burglar didn't even skip the children's room. He turned everything upside down there too, without any result of course. When Josh and Elizabeth arrived back home, you could see that the burglar noticed this. He didn't hesitate for a second and immediately went downstairs. But when he got there, Elizabeth and Josh were already gone. The intruder came down the moment Elizabeth had picked up Josh and left the house. The intruder didn't care. He just grabbed some things and quickly left the house through the back door. But as he approached the street, his speed increased. He walked at a steady pace as if nothing was wrong and thus escaped from the police. After the incident, David felt guilty. He felt bad for not protecting his son and that he made it easy for the burglar to enter the house. There was a ladder outside and the burglar had used it to enter the house. David was also worried about the fact that the thief walked unnoticed in the neighborhood in broad daylight. Nobody would suspect him in the street. He didn't even wear a mask. 
he just walked around like an ordinary citizen. And if you saw him climbing a ladder, you would think he was doing some work on the house. The idea that the intruder had entered the house without shame, and even in broad daylight, still frightens David today. He no longer feels safe inside the house. What would have happened if Elizabeth had not reacted so quickly? She was a superhero, and the family was grateful to have a nanny like her. Elizabeth saw it as her job to keep little Josh safe, and she still takes care of him. The family hopes to keep Elizabeth in their family for a long time to come, and they feel blessed to have someone like Elizabeth around their son. Heroes don't always need to wear a cape to be recognized, so it seems. What were your thoughts about the babysitter in this video? While you give us the answer, like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you turn on the notification bell, you will never have to miss these fantastic videos again.